human ear is the organ whose primary function is to hear a sound and detect and analyze the noise. In some mammals like human beings it is also used for the sense of balance. Now the question is how we hear the sound. The compression in the ear results in the sound in our brain. Actually, the compression in the air has to be converted into an electrical signal for our brain to detect. Let's see the structure of air and how the whole process of conversion of air compression into an electrical signal take place. The human ear has three parts. The outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear. The outer ear consists of pinna and ear canal or auditory canal. The middle ear consists of the eardrum and the three ossicles named as hammer, anvil and stirrup that means incus, malleus and stipus. The inner ear includes semicircular canal that are connected to the cochlea and the auditory system. The compression in the air reaches the outer ear called as pinna which directs the sound to travel through the ear canal to reach the eardrum or tympanic membrane. Due to these compressions, the membrane start vibrating. This thin membrane vibrates and relaxes depending on the amplitude of the compression in air. The vibration is then passed to the three bone in the ear connected to the eardrum, hammer, anvil and stirrup and is amplified about 20 times than the actual vibration. After the amplification of ear bones, this vibration is passed through the oval ear called cochlea. A liquid is present in the cochlea. When the vibrations are sent to this liquid, the minute hair cells present in the cochlea create waves and get the electrical signal out of the cochlea. Now from cochlea it is sent to the brain through the auditory nerves. Brain reads the electrical impulses and detects it as a sound. We have an eustachian tube also at the bottom which connect the ear with the nasopharynx a part of nose. Eustachian tube actually controls the pressure within the middle ear making it equal with the air pressure outside the body.